Let's say, okay. Menu, record. All right, we're just gonna try that. So I got the CarPlay thing on. I'm just gonna let it go though. I'm not gonna really mess with it. I don't have a location in mind. Um, but welcome back to the channel. Hey, look at us. Riding a motorcycle on this channel has not happened in a second. Let me get these, uh, these are my little warmer gloves I wanted to try out today. Not that it's like super cold, it's... Um, according to the bike, it's 52. So, anyway, this is my 2015 V-Strom XT 650. Um, if you haven't seen it before, uh, go back. We just did some mods. Mods. You know, pegs. Um, shift re relocation, you know, a couple things like that. Trying out this little car play adapter while I put my gloves on. So those feel pretty good. Check my mirrors. All right, and here in just a second, I'll get us out of my driveway and uh, we'll start riding. <laughs> All right. Close my visor, see if that helps new gloves so gotta get used to these there were some deer down here anyway welcome back to the channel we're actually on a dirt road on a v-strom out here actually doing some riding it's a I don't know kind of a windy low 50 day today not you know amazing but hey I'm not gonna complain too much in spring of Michigan so I was watching some videos last night about how to do dirt and that turn went a lot better than yesterday so I'm getting used to this stuff um, having to kind of think about how do you balance the bike a little differently going around turns on dirt and things like that so we are out here we're learning we're just going to explore the local area a bit I'm going to take you along for a ride um honestly I'm probably just going to let the camera go for a while I'll clip up the video just to kind of maybe show you just some of the more interesting spots or whatever but nothing's going to be too crazy today um this is just kind of some local dirt roads a mine Oh, careful dogs, you ran into each other on that one. So, trying out the GoPro setup on the helmet again this year. So, I guess, let me know how it sounds. How, if it sounds really bad, I probably won't post this video as is, at least. So, probably just clip it up and you won't hear me talk. So. Well admit. It is not the warmest out and it's kind of windy. Getting used to the shift relocation kit, it just pushed it out a little bit and wearing my normal boots. Uh, yesterday didn't have too much of trouble with it, so. Uh, but it just feels a little different than it did before. No complaints there. The IMS pegs feel really nice nice and stable like perfect amount of platform without feeling like they're impeding my motion to like shift like right now and stuff um they kind of i don't want to say emulate a foot peg in that sense but they're not like a platform too bright out to really test out the lights but they look good and I've flashed a few people with them uh, a couple intersections I know that are just people are a little impatient so they seem to uh, grab people's attention so that's good this is just a cheap carplay adapter if you guys can see it all right um, It literally was like a hundred dollars on Amazon. This is not an ad for it. That is some sort of oh, oh poor possum. 
So I'm just testing it out compared to spending like 500 bucks on a Garmin. I already have a phone. Instead of mounting the phone, which is supposedly killing stabilizers and things like that. Um, try this out first. Might waste 100 bucks, but so far it's not too bad. Ladybug. Try to stick to the uh, the woods a little bit. I think I'm gonna run down to Fort Custer State Park, just ride through there quick, go through the National Cemetery, see the relatives. Um, you know, just a quick jaunt around the local area, trying to get just a little bit of the dust off, cobwebs out, whatever. I don't know, whatever it's supposed to be. I wasn't gonna go this way. Oh well, I'll go this way. I'll be honest, so if you don't know, last year I hit a deer on a 2004 V-Strom, don't listen V-Strom, um, totaled it, uh, I had a broken collarbone, but other than that I made it unscathed, there's a couple videos I did on that, um, no footage of it, no pictures of the bike unfortunately, I just, you know, never was able to make that happen. Um, and I wasn't wearing a GoPro at the time that it, it happened. So, um, but if you didn't know that, go check those videos out for the whole story. Um, these kind of roads though, to get to my point, is still give me some anxiety. Um, it was on a road kinda, I don't wanna say similar to this. This is a little more, I think, traveled. Um, but it was, you know, A less traveled road with ditches that weren't very well kept. And it was a small deer that came out from the left side. Anyway, I didn't see it till the last second. Couldn't really do anything about it. But, I'm trying to work through that anxiety now. Um, those kind of roads though still are doing it to me. That's why I kind of purposely have been turning down them and just I'm just taking my time. I don't need to rip around too bad and, or too fast. And, you know, I don't need to. I think I want to be in this lane. Uh, don't need to put myself in another situ situation like that again so soon. So. Doesn't mean I don't like a good little rip. V-Strom does it fun. Not too fast. It's fairly quick to get up to speed, but you know, you're not gonna get into triple digits too quickly or too easily. You're really gonna have to bring it out to do so. And just, just a lovely little bike. It's got enough torque down low that uh, you don't have to always downshift, you know got some mild manners, you know, you know, you know, you know. I'm a freaking Canadian over here, hey. Uh, the Uber in me is coming out. So, 
I just love this bike. It's really just a fantastic bike for touring, for commuting, for, you know, some off-road, if you will. Off-pavement, maybe, is a better word. Honestly, a lot more people need to start using because most of the time when we go off-road, especially on, like, adventure bikes and V-Stroms and things like that, um, it's really on a road still. So, but... This is a fantastic bike for all that. We're going to turn in here. And uh, I wanted to bring you to... This is uh, Fort Custer National Cemetery. Um, there are only veterans buried here. And this is a beautiful, beautiful spot to pay your respects. To all those who served, obviously, look at this beautiful entrance into the cemetery. If you love freedom, you're in the right spot. So, leave a comment down below if maybe one of your relatives is buried here. I know a few of mine are. That's why I like to ride through here. But it's a beautiful area, a beautiful spot. All the squeaking flagpoles for a second so, made me think the V-Strom was squeaking. So, I just wanted to talk about quick some plans we got coming up for the V-Strom here. Um, the end of May for Memorial Day, we're going to go up to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Uh, if you've never been up there, it is quite possibly, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful places in the world, in our country, and everyone needs to take a vacation up there at some point. I recommend the summer, because let me tell you, the winters are brutal. I lived up there for six years. I lived in Houghton. Um... I think I need to adjust this throttle thing. Anyway, lived in Houghton, went to Michigan Tech, and uh, absolutely loved it up there. So I wanted to go back for a visit. So we're gonna be going to first Wilderness State Park. That is uh, just south of the Mackinac Bridge. If I ever just say the bridge, that's what I'm referring to is the Mackinac Bridge. Um, that's That connects the upper and lower peninsula of Michigan. Um, then we're going to ride up to Copper Harbor, which is at the very tippy, 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 tippy top of, um, the state and the Upper Peninsula, really. It's about as far north as you can go, um, other than, uh, going out to Isle Royal, which takes a ferry. So, we're going to do a night in Copper Harbor, we're going to do some dirt riding up there, maybe the Keweenaw Rocket Range, is a cool little piece of history up there. Um, then we're going to go down the next day to McLean State Park, which is near Houghton, out on the uh, west coast of the Keweenaw Peninsula. After that, we're going to go down to a park I have never been to before, have no real clue on what is there and the significance of it, and it's Fayette Historic State Park. Um, it's actually on the southern side of the UP. Um, Lake Michigan side along kind of just south of US 2 by a little bit and uh, that will be my last night on the road the next day I will just be kind of cannonballing the rest of the way home there's going to be some longer days riding uh, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to be tent camping or hammocking the whole way. I don't have any like Airbnbs. I don't have any cabins. So the V-Strom is going to get loaded down with my camping gear. These gloves are just a little thicker than I'm used to. But I like them. Very warm. Cannot feel the wind at all. Very happy with them. Eh, we'll just let it be. Um, we can talk to you for a second. So that that's basically the big plan for that. Um, adjust my glasses. Oh, hello, butterfly.
that is our plans with the uh, V Strum here. Sorry about that. I had to rip down to the actual state park, turn my turn signal off. Um, so this is Fort Custer State Park. We are just at the National Cemetery. You can camp here. There's some good fishing here, or well, claimed good fishing. My dad and I aren't good at it, but um, anyway, so we're gonna cannonball home after Fayette. Um, be six nights on the road. Six nights, five nights, something like that. Um, right around Memorial Day there, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. Really looking forward to that. My first time uh, doing a long trip on a bike, doing motorcycle camping, uh, trying to film the whole thing for you guys too. Um, I'm gonna try to do maybe a couple parts or let me know down in the comments. Like, if, do you wanna see uh, like one long video of the whole thing? I might do a couple parts and then eventually I'll just release uh, the movie version of it if this all goes well. Once again, it'll be my first time trying to manage multiple days of filming and whatnot. Um, oh, let's stand up. Yeah, buddy. There's also some weird bumps on this road. Remember that. Um, so, yeah, uh, I want to actually do one more camping trip this year as well. So if anyone has any suggestions, I know I've been asking a lot of, for something in the comments this video, but I really would love some suggestions on maybe some interesting places to go that I can ride some dirt and whatnot. Someone's actually here today. You're all set. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, windy. But State Park staff's always super friendly. I love it here. I've been going into this state park specifically my entire life, so um, highly recommended. Kind of a gem, actually, that not many people know about, even who live in the area, so. Close that visor, geez Louise, it's whipping across this prairie here. Um, so yeah, that's really just all my plans. Um, before Memorial Day, I want to try to get out for one or two weekends to kind of practice a little bit, pack up the bike. Um, you know, probably one time on, honestly, just come over here. It's only about 20 minute, 25 minute drive from my house to here. Um, I haven't really been paying attention to the time, but, bump, but I think that's kind of what we're doing. And I want to just bring you guys along on things like this. So sorry about this video being kind of rambly, kind of, I don't know. It, it's probably been a little uh, rough cut, if you will, maybe. I'm only using the GoPro. I didn't even bring the 360 camera, to be honest. I scuffed up one of the lens guards, so I want to get... Um, a new one on before I go and start doing real filming with it again. But... Just found another little dirt road here. It literally just goes like down the ways. I'm trying this whole counterbalancing thing now and it seems to uh, feel good. So, uh, a little washboarded down here, eh? Oh, it's a nice spot. I don't usually come down here. I think this is the boat ramp for whatever Whitford or something. One of these is Whitford. Some swans out there. Very nice. Some folks fishing. Enjoying their Sunday. Canada geese. Hey, 
anyway, um, yeah, I'll show you guys anything interesting or beautiful uh, if I run into anything else. But I think I'm gonna just kind of shut up here and uh, leave you guys to it. Thanks you for watching as usual. Thanks you, thanks you. Thank you for watching, as usual. Like, comment, subscribe down below. I appreciate all the support. I love you guys. Magnum Bowl, out. <laughs>